Good morning and welcome back to Taco Universe Beginner Guides, where we're going to talk about Brigade and the, I guess, the pay-to-play option. <laughs> um, we talked about the free-to-play option. We've talked about NFTs, selecting the right NFT for you, also going through the process and uh, blending and enhancing. So we're going to actually just do a quick video around actually how to play the game with NFTs. It's straightforward. It's actually very similar to the free-to-play, except for you're getting a big boost uh, with uh, the NFTs that you put in there. So we are here in the Brigade screen. I have my venue already lined up and I have some NFTs available. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and click on Equipment and it's going to allow me to go through the process of selecting which piece of equipment that I want to use. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the highest tier ones. I have a couple rare ones in here and a couple uncommons. Um, so if you, you can just go scroll down. If you only have one, two, three pieces of equipment or NFTs, uh, it makes it pretty simple. You just click through them all and you add them in there. Uh, if you have a lot more, you can go ahead and do the search process and search by their name. Um, what I'm going to focus on is I'm going to focus on the ones that have the highest power. Uh, if you remember from the last video, power increases the amount of shing that you get when you go ahead and, and use them. Uh, luck is, increases the luck that you have in order to pull an NFT. So I'm, I'm focusing on the shing, shing production because I'm using it in combination with my extractors, venues, and so forth uh, for some other things that are going on, level my venues, and a few other things. So if I scroll down here, you're going to see some with 2.5, you see 1.5, and you see a couple rare ones here that have 3.5. Though I have two of those, so I'm going to focus on putting those in here. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on it. It just makes sure, are you sure you want to put this piece of equipment in? You hit yes. You authenticate, and basically it's staking it into the game. And you wait a second, and it's going to show up here. Uh, you'll see it says equipped up here in the top right. And now you can see it in there. You see I still have two additional slots open. So we're going to go through the exact same process and grab the other ones that are in here. And there we go. We have the second rare one. So I have two rares. They're equipped. I can play now if I want to, but you can equip up to three items. Um, so let's go ahead and grab one more. Um, you can see I have a few in here. This one was an April Fool's one, which is still probably my favorite equipment uh, from Brigade. Uh, it was an April Fool's joke that happened uh, last year. I'm hoping they do something similar. It doesn't give you any value, it's just a neat NFT. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the uncommon here, which gives me 2.5 power and one luck. So I do have a teeny tiny chance of getting an NFT in here. Um, obviously, as you continue to go up in the rarities, you're going to get higher boosts, higher rewards, um, better balance between the two. So let's go ahead and just add the meat, meat fryer. Yes, I do. I want to put that in there. Uh, and we'll go ahead and authenticate. I should have hit that little checkbox, but once you're all equipped, now you can go ahead and unlike when you change venues where there's a five minute cooldown, when you equip your, your NFTs, there's no cooldown. There's also no cooldown to unequip your NFTs. To unequip, you just click on them. It's gonna ask you, wait, are you sure you wanna unstake it? So go ahead and hit confirm and you unstake your equipment. There is no lead time, there's no wait time. Some games do 24 hours before you can unstake it. Uh, thankfully, Taco does not do that. I, I don't like that. I don't like uh, projects holding onto your NFTs just to cool down, just to unstake them. So it's nice because you can go back and forth. If you made a mistake, put the wrong thing in there, it's pretty easy to switch. Now, once they're all in there, you can go ahead and just hit execute every three hours. Hit execute. It's a simple game, gives you some shing throughout the day uh, in combination with extractors, venues, and so forth. It's a nice little addition. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on it, and you'll see the reward shows up here. So let's hit execute, and we're going to wait. There we go. We got 1,440 shing. If you remember from my free to play video, I think it was like less than 20 shing. So there is a big difference once you put NFTs in there with power, it does increase. It would have been great if I would have got an NFT here to show you that, uh, but I didn't. If you get an NFT, uh, a big box shows up right here. It says you got an NFT and you click OK and it sends it directly to your wallet. Each venue has different types of NFTs. I've seen anywhere from uh, just a, a pack for brigade equipment. I've seen specific items for uh, specific projects. I know there's one venue that does a lot of with farming tails. So you, they give you seeds and different farming tail NFTs. Um, so you just have to go ahead uh, and find out which venue is best for you. 
uh, and then go ahead and play. The NFTs don't drop very often. I got lucky. I think I got within a week, I got three in a week, and that's really the only NFTs I've gotten. Um, so keep an eye out there. Uh, again, I don't have a lot of luck on my equipment, so it's not like I'm really pushing for NFTs. That's how you play the NFT version of Brigade. It's very simple. You can go ahead and get uh, the equipment off of Nefty or Atomic Hub. Just put it in there. Go ahead and click every three hours, and then you can go, go from there. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day.